Welcome back everyone. So today we are going to show you how you can install Hyper-V on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro or Enterprise Edition. Please note that Hyper-V role cannot be installed on the Windows 10 Home or Windows 11 Home Edition. So if you have the Home Editions, Hyper-V cannot be installed. Now the first thing I would like for you to do is check to make sure that you have virtualization enabled. If you're on a virtual machine or a physical machine, you can right click the start button and just go to task manager. And we're going to switch over to the performance section. And down here you should see virtual processor and virtual machine. This says yes. If you're on a physical machine, it should look something similar like this where you should see virtualization enabled. That is important for Hyper-V to work. So make sure you look for virtualization enabled on your physical machine as such, or if you're on a virtual machine, it should say yes. Okay, so once that is done, we're just gonna go ahead, there's two methods to do this. You can do this via PowerShell or the GUI. The first thing we're gonna try is the GUI version. So you wanna navigate to control panel, um, it's easy to just go ahead and start and you can just do control panel and right there. And once in control panel, you can go ahead and look for programs and features. So you can change this over to large icons and open this up. And while you're here, you're looking for programs and features. So you go ahead and look for programs and features. Right there, and then what you're going to do now from here is you're going to turn Windows features on and off, which is up here. So you're just going to go ahead and click that, and you should see all the features that are on or off. And what you will do, you will just click the plus box and make sure that you select Hyper-V and then also Hyper-V platform. Now, just like I said earlier, remember that in order to get the V, the platform here, you need to make sure that all your Hyper-V virtualization platforms are turned on. So this box right here, like you're saying, can it be installed because the processor doesn't have the, um, the capabilities. Make sure that your processor has the capabilities for you to be able to turn on these services as well. Okay, and then you'll cancel that if you want to do it for, via the PowerShell version, just go ahead and Type in PowerShell and run as administrator. And then the command is really easy for PowerShell. You're just going to do enable. So enable and then dash. So you're looking for Windows option right there. So Windows optional feature. And then you're looking for dash online as such. And then the feature we're going to look for is F E A T U R E. So we say feature name. Excuse me. Feature name like this. And then we're going to do Microsoft. And then it's a dash. H Y P R and then dash V and then it's going to be a dash all. And that will be the command for you to run to do enable windows feature, um, do PowerShell. Once you hit this, it should prompt you to go through the installation piece right there. It's going to run and allow you to install Hyper-V. Should also prompt you here, do you want to restart a computer? The complete operation, you say yes, and then you should go through and see it. Remember we did it earlier where we could double check to for the control panel. Programs and features. Turn Windows features on and off. So as you can see by us running it through a PowerShell, it also checks this box. And you can see now that it enabled these features as well. So one of the good things about using the 
PowerShell version is that it will allow you to check all these boxes and you can verify to see that all the services will be turned on before you restart. So that's a good way to check it. And then now you know you can just hit yes here to restart or just Y. And it will, um, after you hit Y here to just accept the default for restart, you should be good to go. And PowerShell, not PowerShell, Hyper-V will be installed on your system via PowerShell. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope this was beneficial for you. Have a great day.